what I got here, you can see me setting up my shot so that I am uh, on the lower thirds line and that you know, this is the best composition that I could kind of get right now with the lighting and anyways, having fun with that. Today's video, we're talking about VCS, version control systems. We're talking about Git specifically. There are a few other ones like Team Foundation, Server, Mercurial, Subversion. I talk about them here in this video, but we're not using them, we're using Git. In this video, I'm gonna take you through making a repository on github.com. Yes, I know there's Bitbucket and other websites, but we're using github.com. And we're gonna take your local code on your computer, we're gonna make a GitHub account, we're gonna set up Git, and then we're gonna push it up to the interwebs. Git is for branching. So you have your main, your main branch, which is like all your code, and then say someone's like, hey, we want you to change the button. Okay, so you make a new branch that's kind of parallel to it, and you fix it, and then you push it back into it. And so you're never messing with the code that's working. You always take a copy of the code, do something with it, and then push it back to the code. Actually, there's no, more of a middleman process than that. So you have the main production code that customers and stuff are using, and then you have this other one called develop. And then you usually take your code off of the develop branch, just in case something happens to get back to it, you don't break all your customer stuff. So you have a normal branch, you have the develop branch, and you're like, oh, let's change the text on this button. Okay, so you take a copy of the development, you make that change, you push it back to the development branch, and then you take the development branch whenever you're ready to release it, and then you push it into the production branch. So that is Git Flow 101. Put that on your resume. Employers like to see that. Anyways, let's jump into the video. All right, so we're using Git, like I said before. I'm on Windows, so if you're on Windows, the first thing you, you wanna do is come up here to Google and then just type in Git Bash, and then come here to Git-Downloads or this website here. Zoom in. Click this, go ahead and download it from Windows. So I already have that installed, and in my last video we made a Giphy application or a page and uh, we didn't have that stored on on github anywhere so uh, if we were to lose this on our local on our desktop we'd have no way to to get it if you don't have this folder you can download it the links in the description if you want to do this with a different code file or a folder with with code files and that's fine too so we've downloaded git bash and we're going to go to the folder so it's, it's the ajax folder here and then i'm going to right click and you should have this option called git bash here okay Great, now this little thing is open, and you want to type git init. So great, we have git init initialize empty repository. That's that's good, we want that. So we should probably also go to GitHub. So go to git, we're gonna be using GitHub. There's also another one like Bitbucket, but in this example, we're gonna be using GitHub. Come over here and then uh, register and then sign in, and then it'll take you to this page. And then, so you wanna click new repository, and then repository name. Giphy API here. Just a little description here. Great, let's create the repository. So now that we have created the repository in github.com, we have to finish adding all of our files that we want to push up to github.com. Let's come back over here to our terminal and let's do git add. So these are the files that we want to add to push up to GitHub. So if you do git add dot, that will add everything inside of the folder, which is typically what you want to do unless you have some really, really big files in there, then you would start typing out like 404, and then you can hit tab and it'll auto complete. So you can do them individually, but you know, if you have a simple application like this, you can just git add dot, and it will say, okay, great. And it and adds all the files and you can type git status and it will show everything in green that's ready to get pushed up to GitHub here. Now we have to commit the code before we push it up to the website, the repository that we just made on the website. In order to do that, we have to do git commit, and then you wanna do dash M because you wanna leave a message. So then you do quotes, and then um, generally you just type initial commit, and then you hit enter. Great, so now you've committed these files. So they're not on the internet yet, they're just here on your local computer, but it's like a checkpoint. You have created a checkpoint in your code right now, and you can always come back to this checkpoint, assuming you have this file you know, to come back to unless you've deleted it. So we've created a checkpoint in the code, and now we want to push it up to the repository. Okay, so before we actually push it, we need to create our username and email inside of our inside of our command line here. In order to do that, you type in git config dash dash global user.name 
quotes and then enter your name and then hit enter and you'll set your name and then similarly you want to do that for your email so uh, the reason I'm getting these so fast is up and down arrows on my keyboard so I press up a couple times and I want to change name to be email so this is the part great so make sure that we got it correctly so now we set our username and then we have set our email. This email is what's going to be used when it goes to try to push this code to this website. It's going to try and push it from your local system to this website and in order to do that it needs to log in. So this email is, you know, it, this should be your login email that you use to sign up for GitHub. So now we can take this, um, push an existing repository, so copy that, paste it in here. Okay, no errors. That means that we have added the origin. This has successfully been added, so we've taken, we've let this local folder on my desktop know that it's going to be pushed to this URL we just added. And now we want to git push u origin master. So let's paste that in there. You can't control C, so control V in this. You have to right click on this and then click paste. Username. Okay, so it says an error occurred. You need to enter your username. So let me enter my username. That's my username. Okay, so now it's asking for my password. So now I enter my password. Press OK. OK, so boom, delta compression, blah, 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 blah. So now if I come over here to the website and then I click refresh, you can see that I have successfully pushed up everything from uh, my local system to github.com. I can actually modify the code here. We can see change search to be search please. And then we'll save it. And so now we can do git status. Okay. So we type git status after we made one change and it shows us modified index.html. There was a change made here. Okay. Well, that's the change we just made. So we can git, um, we can git add that unmodified or this modified file that we just used. So we'll do the dot since that's the only one. It doesn't matter. Or we can type it out. So I'll type it out. Uh, started typing and then hit tab index.html then I hit enter great that's been added and then git commit dash m and then you want to have your quotes and then uh, we change the button text so generally it's good practice not to use past tense when you're doing these commit messages you want to do present tense we're git committing this button change text fantastic and now we want to push it up to the actual website so git push it's asking me to log in again it's asking me for my username again, or my password. So I press OK. OK. Resolving Delta is 100% complete. And now, if we come back to the actual website, you can see six minutes ago, six minutes ago, six minutes ago. If I refresh the page now, we should see index.html updated right here. Change button text. That was what we just sent. And now we have it here on the cloud. So that is GitHub in a nutshell. It's not that hard to set up. It's really, it's really neat system, really needed skill. You have to know how to do this. Don't, we're using the command line in this video and there are desktop applications that help you manage this stuff. Try to stay away from that because desktop applications limit some of the things you can do with Git. There are a lot of Git commands and the desktop applications only allow you to do what is built into that. So, I mean, they're good if you just need to do something really quick, but if you make a mistake and you want to correct something, that's the problem with the desktop applications. I know it's a pain to learn the command line, but it's, it's, really, it's really worth it. I know I didn't go over branching, but hopefully my hand gestures in the first part of the video can kind of clarify that for you. Maybe I'll do another video on branching specifically if that's requested. So if you like this video, hit that little subscribe button. We have the Discord. Check out the Discord link in the description below. Drop your video ideas, drop your code questions. We got a lot of knowledgeable people in there. Shout out to my boy Chris, I am Chong, all these other people in here, always trying to help everyone out. If you got questions, you're just getting started, it doesn't matter, hop in there. We have really helpful people. Anyways guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.